completely. The story is getting convoluted, and they're they're starting to just get old. It's starting to be rehashes, and a lot of times they're you're, you're they're throwing fan service too at you a lot of the times, just to because they know something is popular. And honestly, I prefer this combat over uh, some of the later Final Fantasy's combats. I love I love action time combat when it's done correctly, like in ten two and seven and nine and stuff like that. Glare put me to sleep. What the fucking hell? Wasn't that paralyzed earlier? I mean, Glare in Pokemon is paralyzed. Glare earlier, I sworn, was paralysis. But then, I think, wasn't in 2 Glare petrification? Glare was normally petrification, at least in 10, if I recall correctly. Come on, guys, what the fuck? I don't think this place had a way to heal me, did it? No. Why am I why am I thinking this place had a way to heal me? If it does, I'm an idiot. If it doesn't, I'm, I don't know. You can already see my memory at work. That's why I do this all the time. No, it wasn't. It was, uh... It was up here. Controller, please! Oh. Really? Thanks. Zero, what's with your accuracy, dude? Goodbye, chat. Thank you, gosh, accuracy. Fucking gobshite. These guys are killing me. Good. Out of here. Psh. I hate this nonsense. Can you stop it? Mm. 
I can't even attack! I can't... Oh my god, no! I didn't know! That, I'm sorry, was bullshit. I finished watching Captain Marvel again? Again? I mean, you like comics, I like manga. I like anime movies, you like... While not as good, you like Marvel and, Cap and uh, Capcom movies, yes. Marvel and DC stuff. I don't know, I just, I can't get into half of these movies. I just, I can't. It's like, Infinity War wasn't even that good. That's just, it's just my opinion. I'm here going on tangents that's probably going to get a bunch of people mad at me. I already had a big ass tangent on why Pokemon to me is starting to fall off. And why certain generations of Pokemon are terrible. Don't need to go into this topic. <laughs> uh, Captain Marvel? I mean, that's what I've heard. That's all I hear is, this movie sucks, this movie sucks, this movie sucks. The only good movies are basically Marvel. And not even not even half of the... Not even a good chunk of those are even that good to some people I've saw, that I've heard. Captain Marvel, they say, sucks. Uh... They say that most of the, all the Infinity, uh, the uh, Avenger movies are pretty good, they said. And they said their individual movies are pretty bad. Some of them. Some are good, some are bad. And it's just like, I don't give a shit about half of these characters. Like, I only cared about Spider-Man and Batman growing up. And even now, I really, really don't give a flying crap about. The only thing I cared was the animated series for Batman. Spider-Man's animated series kind of is bad. <laughs> Batman's actually pretty good. I've watched that. I've watched both like probably several years ago, and I really didn't think Spider-Man aged all that well. Batman, maybe not as well, but I don't know because I don't remember. It's been many years since I've last watched it, but from what I've seen of it, Batman actually still holds up. Spider-Man, not so much. And that was my childhood. The uh, Amazing Spider-Man, I think it was. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, radioactive Spider-Man. Oh, shit, we're hitting the 200 territory. I didn't even realize that my health... <laughs> my health... But I'm good. How did you enjoy the movie, though? Like, you just said it was bad, but do, did you at least personally like it? Controller move, please. How do I find things on accident and just don't remember? Why do things just go into my brain and out of it? Like, I find so many things by accident and then half the time I don't even pay attention how I even got there. C controller. Like, my D-pad just does not want to move sometimes. I need a... Like, right there. Fuck. I 
Do I have to? Like, I just wanted to freaking heal. I'm sure there is a Healy thing in there, because I know I found it. I just don't really care to walk for it right now. I'm getting tired, that's all it is. You could see why I'm bad at classic RPGs. Just, I don't have the memory. I need... This is why I had a map in front of my face. Because I don't want to have to open a map every two seconds, every time I take a step or two. Because that's what I'm literally going to be doing this entire playthrough. I take one or two steps, open the map. One or two steps, open the map. It's because I just can't remember layouts very well at all. I played Fantasy Star Online for many, many fucking years. And even though the maps aren't... The maps that you spawn in aren't random, but the locations of which you do start at change. And even that I don't have memorized. I don't know the direct paths of the of each area. Uh, even though it doesn't change, the layout doesn't change at all. It just you change different sp spawn points. But even then, I can't tell which spawn point is what. I no matter how much I play the game. Just going out be. At least these heal me. Ugh. Was it down here? That's to revive. That's not to heal me, that's to revive me. There is no spring to do that. There's a, an inn. That's right. I'm so fucking tired of your shit. You never look at me during, I damn you. Just insert it already. I'm running that joke into the ground. Before we get froggy, we have we have a dungeon to explore. Sahagan. I prefer if my character to the mess so much. No. I should save. I've saved 30 times already. 31 times already. Holy fucking shit. No, I'm a frog. My name's Sid from Nine. I'm a frog. 
First I was an oglop, now I'm a frog. Pigman! Fortunately, I got a save toad for when I use it, which is shortly. <laughs> yeah, hee hee. Ah. <laughs> I'm waiting for one of the my spells to actually heal him. Of course, you, you make this fight drag on! Thank you. Okie dokie, now we gotta dive in. No way, only a frog can make it in there. Stop dungeons, please! I love you, Final Fantasy III, a lot. A lot. I've only played... I, I've only played like maybe eight hours of it and I, yeah I'm at the beginning but I was grinding and everything and I've already loved this game far more than both one and two but god dang it do I hate these these type of dungeons I mean it's unique but I fucking hate it Get me out of that! Ugh! Welcome to the Tower of Odin. It will be your grave. Will it? Will it now? Slink my onion, bro. Don't blind me. Fuck. Ugh. Yeah, you really, really need to up your damage. Stop that. I just need to get me a second weapon for zero. Awesome shades there, chat. If you weren't a new thing in this game, to, if you weren't a new class to me, I would not be using you. <sighs> Blindness. Yes. Remove that right now. Okay, they did say that this place was a device thing. <clears throat> Literal words. Something about it being a device. I could see it being like a clock tower thing. It has a lot of mechanisms. Fargelug! One damage. Stop ven trying to venom me, ya fuck.
Damn, man. Still alive, huh? Goodbye. Ice to meet you. God damn it. Ah. It's because you guys just aren't killing them. Who stop? With the statusing. Then don't give me the option to. Why is his glasses like half off him now? Oh, it's chat, not zero. Oh, come on. Can chat stop dying? C controller, please. There goes that. Well, that would have been nice. I wouldn't have had to use my thing, my spell for that. I was doing that damage before and he wasn't dying, but okay. <sighs> Fucking stop! You really need to stop missing zero. I also need to give you a second weapon. Level up! I wish my experience wasn't so freaking off. And they're not that far off. They're all near each other in level. <sighs> Up, please. D-pad. Strike first! Yes, I mean, I don't know what the point of strike first. I get what strike first means. You run into a battle and then you get all your opportunity to attack first. However, I've been getting my opportunity to attack without that, so... Personally, I just find it kind of useless in some cases. In most cases, it's very nice, especially with one where half the time Final Fantasy 1 enemies all attack twice before you can even make a turn. So I can't even traverse any of that floor. these things. Come on! I want 
trying to avoid. Yes, yes, yes. What are you even? You're not even wearing a thing. Oops. Ice one? Oh, free firepower. Oh, it just, it just has the number there for some reason? Yeah, for some reason it just has the number there. The others don't. I get it's the amount that I have, but the others don't say it. Okay, firepower up. Ice power up. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Okay. What the fuck is happening? Get fucked. No, oh, already far better damage. Shit. Yeah, we need to give you a second weapon there, Zero. Oh, mute. Hear that right now. Thriving! Thriving? I can't even wear it. I guess I can give you that. Well, it's not for you then. How is the grind? Good. How are you doing, man? Grind is going well. Uh, let's see, what's my health at? Ah, fuck. My mage is muted and I I remember now, I am an ancient. Wait, what? Oh, I just hit B by accident. You're an ancient? Are you related to Eris too? Just keep wandering forever. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Pony Mage and Blood Bat. How you doing, Irving? Oy vey. I'm gonna need to get... Just beat Borderlands 3's DLC. Nice. Was it good? What is your favorite Borderlands at this point? Mine is still is still number one at the moment because I didn't play enough of three, but number one is still my favorite. I think it's I think it's regardless of that. I think it's gonna be my favorite regardless of how good three actually is. Two just pissed me off with the badass rank because it's you're freaking overpowered as shit on new characters if you wear, wear it but taking it off is also kind of dumb because that's your that's most of your that's a lot of your strength so like they should have made it so that it doesn't link to other characters i get it it's profile based but still it's kind of dumb so i don't want to have to just turn off my things cuz that's the point of it
Yeah, she was fun for me. It's between one or two, just... Hey, preschool is garbage. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's in between. Between one or two. So which one do you like better? One or two, then. So that means it's in between one or two. So that means three is your second favorite. One or two is your favorite. One or two is your... I guess second to least favorite. Well, the pre sequel is just bad. Can this bull stop clogging? Like every few hits. And it stays clogged. you're alive ooh that is a definite improvement how are you oh I hate ball. god dang it zero you need to <laughs> I need to upgrade I need to get a better weapon for him I need to get a second weapon for him I should have bought one from the beginning I should have learned from Final Fantasy 2 at equipping a second weapon well, equipping a different weapon on, or second weapon on you actually makes you weaker. But I should have learned not to equip a shield onto your character. <laughs> having two weapons in this game is actually viable. I don't know how viable it was in two, but it made you weaker. Think of it as wielding one big sword in one hand and then having another sword in your other hand versus wielding your big sword with two hands. Yeah, you're going to do more damage wielding it two-handed. That's that. That's why. Yep. Yep, one because of how we started playing it. Two is, well, two is amazing. I get, I, I love its story and I love what you do in it. In fact, I love a lot of the areas more. It's just Borderlands One. Just yeah, it has that. It's not so much nostalgia because nostalgia does and doesn't affect me. It does affect me in ways where games I grew up with have a place in my heart, but it doesn't affect me as in I'm not wearing. I'm not wearing rose-covered glasses, basically. I'm not saying this game is good out of the pure spite that the fact that I grew up with it. So saying stuff like Pokemon Gen 1 is really good and probably one of the best generations because I grew up with it. No. Gen 1 is good, but it's not the best. But it's not. I'm not blinded by pure nostalgia. I still think Gen 1 Pokemon is a very good game. Badass rank is in the 5,000s. I hear people mentioning that Borderlands didn't age well. It's like... It's a fucking 360 and PS3 PC game. How is it going to be aged badly? I don't get it. People say games that aren't even that old age badly. It's like Final Fantasy or uh, Final Fantasy. Uh, Borderlands 1 didn't age well to some people. It's like that game's not even old. You can't say that. That game's not that old. I can you can say that about a retro game because it actually has more age. You can't say that about a more modern game though. That's like saying yeah, that's like saying Pokemon Black and White or uh, Sun and Moon didn't age well. Or uh, X and Y didn't age well. It's like, you can't say that. The games are still still new. Yeah, no, they will. I just don't like when people use, oh, it didn't age well as an excuse. Like, okay, first off, Borderlands 1, I know, has issues. Dead Rising 1 has issues. Pokemon Gen 1 has issues. But that doesn't mean games like those didn't age well. Hell, Dead Rising 1, to me, has a lot of good age, in fact. Yes, you see a lot of its issues, but comparatively for a, 20, uh, a 2006 game, one of 360's earliest titles, it still holds up to this day. I don't think even that is old enough to be considered saying that it hasn't aged well. Borderlands is... No, it's just too... It's not old enough. You need to go into the retro age before you start saying something hasn't aged well. If I remember right, there's a switch in the wall on the fifth floor, eight steps from the left. Thank you! I keep forgetting that B is a thing! Hi. I keep forgetting that B is a thing. 
Where did this fourth slot come from? Another thing that bothers me about people is, oh, this game or th th this game sucks because they're running out of ideas. You want to start playing three again? <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, the biggest complaint I have is when people start saying stuff like, oh, this generation sucks because now they're running out of ideas. Like, we, I just had a big conversation about why, I, why some of the later Pokemon games aren't doing as well. One major factor is the fact that you can't transfer all your Pokemon to, to Gen 8. Two, it hasn't advanced anywhere past the 3DS age besides maybe the, the layout uh, or the, um, the gorgeous areas that is Galar. And maybe that, and maybe it expanded on, like, the size of the continent that you're walking around on. But other than that, it still looks like a 3DS game. It, to me, just... That's just laziness. It's not anything to do with bad design in terms of monsters, nor layout-wise. Still gotta start breeding shinies. Have you nearly completed your Pokedex, at least for that game, to uh, merit the shiny charm and egg charm thing? Or are you going to try doing that without uh, the egg charm? The shiny charm only affects wild encounters. I don't know if they changed that at all in the later games. But, um, are you just going to breed or are you going to hunt in the wild? Is there a mechanic in that, like with Shiny Chaining or Poke Radar or whatever it was? Oh man, they need to implement they need to implement Poke Radar, but in a better game. Diamond and Pearl and Platinum were the best for Poke Radar chaining. If they can bring that back and actually have good enough grass patches, that'd be fine. That's my issue with X and Y is I just felt like my chains kept breaking because the grass patches weren't big enough. Oh shit, right, Zero's dead. I'm about dead. Shit! God damn it! I'm dead. God damn it! You're going to go for the charm? Nice. I did not mean to die there. I thought I was fine beating the fuck out of them, but apparently not. Starting to one shot, which is nice. I had a guy earlier in chat. He he recommended that I make an entire team of mages. That's fine and all, but I'm not a big mage guy. I'm more of a I'm more of a I like to physical attack in most cases. Most mages in some games, if I can, I'll turn them physical. You're going to probably see that in my Final Fantasy X playthrough. Early on, mo most of the story, I'm going to be using Lulu for a black mage. But towards the end of the game, she's going to become a melee character. Because it's faster. I'm sorry. It's, just, it's a pain in the ass to have to go into menuing. And I can do the same amount of damage. Or more, physically. When she has max stats. Max strength, specifically. Yes, I can double cast, but eh, that's just that's just too much menuing. And no, I will not make a freaking entire mage cast. No, that's like me being a that's like me making a party in PSO and having nothing but forces. While that actually might be viable. No. 
I'm sure it's very viable. Forces and PSO are fantastic. I just don't. I'm just not a force user. They probably they, they probably have the second best output in PSO. P is for priceless. The look upon your faces. E is for ext oh, I see what he's. What the fuck? E is extinction. All your puny races for revolution, which will be televised. At oh my God, no. Is that the Spongebob song? Fuck you all. F is, f is for I fucked you all. Now allow me to reprise for an eccentric. Just listen to my song. C is for completion that I've waited for so long. T is for terror. Upon you'll bestow giggles. My name is Perfect. Oh, 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 oh. <clears throat> yes, I remember Team Four Star making that. Yes. I remember when Team Four Star did that with that with Cell. I don't like when they add singing, though. Where is that? Oh. <laughs> I'm in a private message. That would explain. No, that's not Perfect Cell song, Kenny. That's from Abridged. Perfect Cell's theme is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I cannot sing. I know the song, but I just... I, I cannot sing or do any music outside of actually hearing it. Time for me to become toadified. Time for me to become untotified. Unfortunately, it takes up the same slot as Arrow. Kindy Lulu. Nice, except I hate TFS for everything that wasn't needed. I guess you could say that song was. that this song was. was what? Can. I don't. How did I know he was gonna say that? For anyone who's reading part of my chat on Discord. Unfortunately, I don't think Discord and this are linked, but they're linked to where I can read it. I don't know if I can just chat and Twitch and that being uh, them seeing it, but of course he would say that. Welcome to the Tower of Owen. It will be your grave. So there's a switch on the fifth floor. Hey, waka waka waka. Of course. Now you made that reference too, could you? Ah, gah, gah, gah. I guess you can say that's was perfect. Perfection. Ah, uh, Cell. <laughs> it's the only voice I can do for Cell. I'm bad at perfect Cell voice. I'm perfect. A lot of the songs they added into Abridged were kind of bad. Except for Gohan Super Saiyan 2 theme that they made for Gohan transforming to SS2. That song is phenomenal. But that's an actual, like, someone actually made that song. They didn't just start making Cell into a Disney character. Because <laughs> he sings when he's dying, too. I don't know if you've watched, uh... TFS is abridged, well, 
I don't know if you watched the rest of the Cell games. It is fantastic. The song that plays when Gohan transforms is fantastic. The songs that Cell sings, not so much. I don't mind him doing the F is for fuck whatever, but I don't like his so song that he sings when he's dying here. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up. Like, you heard the um, Helsing Ultimate, or Helsing Abridged uh, theme? It basically features Alexander Anderson. Well, it features the entire cast, but the main premise is Alexander Anderson is singing most of the lyrics. But that's a very good song that they did for uh, Helsing. Uh, but no, I think that song is... Uh, Based off uh, Spongebob, I believe. Right in my ear holes! This is what Kenny was referencing. I swear, though, Taka, the guy who does freaking Van Helsing, perfect cell voice. Fuck you! Oh, God. Brought to you by Assface. All right, well, here's, here's Cell's death. Death. This is what Cell sings when he's dying. Not even funny, no. Not funny. But. This song is for when Gohan transformed into Super Saiyan 2. This is TFS. I don't think they made the song. But someone they know did. This song is phenomenal. This song is fucking banging. You gotta hear the song with the actual video playing. It just adds to it. That's how I feel about with songs, like when I'm watching AMVs. Like, a certain song that fits an AMV just does not sound good on its own anymore to me. All those, like, AMVs that I had with DBZ and Inuyasha and all that, I can't really... Uh, every time I hear the songs that I played for those videos, I, I just... I see the video in my head. I just, for some reason... A video makes a song better if it if it's a good AMV. Not that this is an AMV, but it's really good when paired with the actual scene, because Gohan's finally learning to let go. 
and that that sadness and pain and hatred of losing everyone is just makes this song so much more. God, I love Dragon Ball. Team Four Star did nothing but revitalize my love for the franchise. In fact, they made it better. I know a lot of their jokes are slapstick, and they add a lot of things from other dubs and other random shenanigans like Popo being an overall badass and, you know, Shenron being under the... Popo being the leader of Shenron or whatever and all the nonsense they add and him bitch-smacking Vegeta and Krillin off the lookout, like... They made that so much better. Kenny wants a song. But yeah, like, then there's this. And I've watched the entirety of their abridged for Helsing. I want to mute the game audio. You can clearly tell that's Lanny's voice. Oh, I've seen all of it as well. I've seen both. Hel uh, Helsing and uh, Ultimate. Fantastic series. No, no, no. You know what I want to read again? Kenshin. I was looking. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm thinking about when I get a bigger, bigger bookshelf or more bookshelf or more space. I wanna. I wanna collect more manga and I wanna. Check, I wanna read Kenshin again. I'll probably just look it up online, but. I haven't read a good manga in a long while. I mean, not counting Dragon Ball Z and all that. Storytelling. Uh, <laughs> Dragon Ball Z is not very good. We know Akira's storytelling with that series. Wasn't it strong suit? Yes, no, I really wanna... I really enjoyed Helsing... Or not Helsing, uh, Kenshin's manga. It was really good. That and I wanted to read more Berserk, but... I wasn't reading it enough, or I didn't... I was too busy with other things. I didn't read it, and you bar took them back. But I wanna... I wanna check into back into Berserk as well. Hey, Jared, hey, welcome. We're listening to Team Four Star. Because <laughs> Kenny and Discord... Kenny and Discord started spouting off Perfect Cell's song from Abridged, and I was just trying to say that none of the Abridged songs are good unless you like your Disney movies. <laughs> and now I got it. 
unmute the gam. Alright, there we go. How you doing though, man? It's good to have you back. zero stop I swear she has better accuracy than you okay. onion night <laughs> more like I'll make you cry Okay, there's a switch. Just keep wandering forever. If I remember right, there's a switch in the wall on the fifth floor, eight steps from the left. From the left where? In the wall, on the fifth floor, eight steps from the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Motherfucker. One, two. Three, four, wait. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wrong wall, perhaps? But, butt rat. Ow! That's a lot of damage. Go fuck yourself! Don't mute me! You dick! Get fucked! Damn it! Okay, okay. Oh my god. Do too much damage. Zero level. Nah. My God, this stupid song. If I remember right, there's a switch in the wall on the fifth floor, eight steps from the left. Well, now I'm just trying everything. Four, five, six, seven, eight. You clearly saw me count eight steps both directions. Apparently I was off by a pixel. Fuck yourself, game. Stop. 
stop! Ow, that hurt. Get out of here, bat. Thank God, hype. Good job, hype. Hair though. <laughs> I never know what to do with my hair. I'm losing my hair. <laughs> That's why I keep doing this with my hair on my forehead. It's because I'm losing my hair. And my forehead is sticking out more. Ah, freaking receding hairline. Don't get old. <laughs> Even though receding hairline has nothing to do with age. You can be in your early 20s and have no hair. That's another thing that bothers me. Is a lot of people keep thinking, like, I keep whenever someone mentions, oh, they have like certain genetics, and they're like, oh, but you're young. How is this? I was like, when it comes to your eyesight or brain or your hair or whatever, age doesn't matter. It could be genetics, or it could just be the fact that you over freaking use certain things. But like when it comes to hair loss, it's genetics in most cases. So you're gonna lose your hair at your early twenties. Most like I knew a friend who I worked with at work who was er, who was only 26 and he's already bald. But when I hear people like, "Oh, but you're young," it's like, it don't matter. I'm losing my hair and I'm 30. Hell, my my two oldest brothers have more hair than I will ever. And they're my oldest brother's 40, and they still have a head full of hair. In fact, more hair than me. Only the reason why my hair is longer, well, I have a bit more hair because it's longer, but in general, my hair is actually falling out. While my other older brother, who has long, actual long hair, you can start to see some of his balding, but he's has he has enough hair to actually grow it out. I can sit there and have this hair, never cut it, and it would probably not grow. Like, this has been like this for probably almost a year now. It's definitely been almost, it's definitely been over a year since I've gotten my hair cut. And this is as long as it's gotten. Yes, my hair's curly. Or it waves. It's wavy. But, it's past my ears and that is it. Now, if I straightened it, it'd probably be almost down to my chin. It'd be about, about down to my chin. But that's it. My hair cannot grow any longer than that. I, unfortunately, as a kid, I've always wanted longer hair. But I don't have the hair for it on top of, uh... My hair just can't grow that way. On top of that, now that I'm balding, my hair isn't literally really growing anymore. To an extent. I mean, if I get it cut and then it, and then let it grow for like six, seven months to a year, it'll be back to this, but that's it. It's It grows really slow. You've always had your long hair, though. You've always had gorgeous-ass hair. No homo. You've always had that good hair, though. Like, I don't know if your hair is naturally as straight as it is. I know you straighten it, but like, you're you've always had better hair than me. I've always had naturally curly, wavy hair, especially once moisture sets in. My hair becomes a jufro. But I've always wanted longer hair. I've had short hair all my life, so it's kind of nice to have a change. You know what I mean? I know in the end it kind of makes me look kind of lazy, but I personally just wanted longer hair. It's not so much laziness, it's the fact that I just I just want to just let my hair grow out. Whether it makes me look better or not. But yeah, no, you've you've always had good hair. At least Tom, finally, I don't know, I haven't seen him in a while, but his hair was, last time I saw him, his hair wasn't as long as it was. So I think Tom finally got the clue that he's not suited for long hair either. He just, his hair is too curly, it's just not good. But it was him, it, it was him, it was his style, it suited him. Unfortunately, I can't grow my hair out to be like that and expect it to look good. Curly hair just does not look good, but it suited him, so, I mean, but now I think he's, even now realizes that his hair is just not suited for long, 
And he's not a kid anymore. Okay. Fuck that thing up. Fuck this guy up. Cause he fucked me bad. Exactly. Look at that damage. The fucking damage is stupid. Get, go, get gone. Scrub. Zero, don't whine, man. Don't cry. Oh, I love the crying animation. He actually has tears in his eyes. That is adorable. Oh, God. For some reason, I'm getting, like, Mario-esque sprites from some of these characters, for some reason. Like, Onion Knight reminds me of a Mario character, for some reason. Oh, by the way, uh, I figured out what, uh, these numbers are. The CC, the, the, the stupid C points that I'm getting, it allows me... You look weird with short hair? I bet. Um, the C that I'm getting, the points that I'm collecting, the numbers here, I have, that, that means I have to spend eight points to change from a warrior or fighter to an onion knight, or onion kid, or I would have to spend 16 to swap to a mage, so the amount to swap to a different class that is similar to your own is less, which is why these are, well, I don't know about why these two, but these two, which is why they're less and why this one's more. So if I were to completely change to an opposite class than my own, that's what costs you more. So, yes, you're free to choose your classes. You're, you're not stuck in any of them. And I'm, and I'm assuming that means for the newer unlocked ones as well. When I get more classes, I'm assuming I can swap between those as well. But, but yeah, that's I figured that out. Yesterday, uh, after I got off, I wanted. I was like, okay, what does this mean? So I looked it up. It makes sense now that I think about it. I just apparently wasn't too bright thinking, what is this? But that's just me. Mute. Oh, you are muted. Good. And look, I got a sword with your partial name in it. I'm going to use the Irving sword. I'm going to go and take a quick stretch. Give me a sec. Oh, before I before I stand up and my legs my legs and all the blood flow into my legs and then I die of a heart attack. <laughs> In order for that to happen, I actually would have to play a game for like 3 days straight. Like the guy that did on A Thousand Ways to Die, he played his game for like 2-3 days straight and stood up immediately with like, whenever you fall, or whatever, whenever you have to get up, make sure you get up slow. If you ever get up too fast and you notice why your head's all dizzy, yeah, that's basically what happened to him. He sat in the chair for so long, he goes to stand up. The minute he stood up, he stood up too fast. All the blood flow that was cut off from his legs, and, well, his heart down to his legs, literally, boom, hit him all at once, and then he had a, he had a heart attack. Oh, no. Look, I've done all-nighters before, but this kid literally was going to the bathroom in his own chair. <laughs> that puts laziness to a whole new level. Sorry, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> like, I can be pretty lazy. I wouldn't... I honestly would not mind having a chair or a, a toilet underneath me right now. But, as much as that's disgusting... And two, where the... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, where would you deposit it? But, that's just lazy. Gaming is my life. But it's not enough to end my life. The funny thing is, is you were playing an MMO, I think. And someone killed him. And he got pissed off. He would have had a rage quit moment if he didn't die.
Or what about the other one where the kid has a Bluetooth uh, controller? And then there was a guy... Uh, the room behind his wall, I think, was like a hospital or something. The guy was basically on um, the machine that basically keeps you alive. That checks your pulse and all that. I forgot the name of it. Basically, the Bluetooth was fucking with that. And every input was upping its his heart rate. So, he ended up having a heart attack... Yes, remember our gaming nights? Yeah, where you would outbeat me? <laughs> I'd wake up in the morning to the game still on and you passed out? <laughs> yeah. There were days where I can be up with you, but most of the time when you slept over, you were up all night. More more, more than I was. I remember waking up to you snoring and... The game's still on. Yep. Not that I haven't. I've done my fair share of passing out with games on. All the time. I still do it here and there. Hell, I've had some streams like that where I'd be up until like... It'd be like a 13-hour stream and I'd be up at like 5 a.m. And it's just like, okay, I'm not going to bed. <laughs> I mean, that's still only half a day, but still, like... Going to work physically exhausted to the point where I'm passing out while moving is scary because it's happened i literally was at work several times at sears and chick-fil-a where i had no sleep and i'm literally passing out while standing chick-fil-a was worse because i was standing there in one spot making fries so when it's slow i'm literally but at least with sears i'm moving however passing out while moving is scary because there was times where i was going on complete autopilot and a lot of the stuff that I was putting away, I didn't even recall. It's not fun. But there's it's just, sometimes I just can't sleep. I've been doing that for many years. It's fucked my schedule up bad. But my body is so used to getting up on certain hours, it's weird. Like, if I don't work, for, if I don't work on a certain day, my body will wake me up at 5 in the morning sometimes. Like... Yesterday, I think I woke up at like 4 or 5 in the morning, just because I'm used to that with work. I'm confused as to which way I was going. Oh, okay. I think I came from there, if I recall. Can we run just... Just get me through this dungeon, please. Damn it. My freaking best... My, my mage is freaking muted. Great. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you, game! Oh, fuck, I'm almost out of magic anyway. I need some ethers! No, no, no! Ah, at least you muted the onion, bro. Can we, please? Okay, good. Didn't hit me that bad. God damn it! Guys, this missing needs to stop. Stop that! Okay, that didn't do too bad. That bat should have been dead. I almost did his whole health bar. I almost hit him in one. I almost killed him in one go. Like, that should have killed him. Skip. Oop! Mm -hmm. This dungeon's already longer than half the freaking dungeons in the first two games. Oh! 
ほう。69. If I remember right, there's a switch on the wall. Okay. I don't think any of you guys can wear this. Uh -uh. Damn wizards in your freaking clothing. Your normal clothes. What the fucking what the fucking hell? Goodbye. That's why I'm using my bigger spell on you. Goodbye. Fucking those heads, man. For any of you who are just joining in or just joined in uh, probably less than 30 minutes ago or so, those head things actually is what killed me. Or if anyone was joining in right as that happened, that's what actually killed me. Like, I fought four of them and thought I was fine, because I killed the first one fine. But then <laughs> something happened and just destroyed my entire team. To be honest, whenever I have a lot of chatters, I tend to... My multitasking's pretty bad, but I do multitask a lot. It's just I tend to talk more and not really play. It's kind of a bad habit I try to not fail on, but that's just me. Zeus's rage Is that like a summon and an item? I know there's a few of these in uh, the first couple games. That basically gives you a a magic spell or an, a summons attack. You think three is a short game. Oh, that's good. Good! That means I can get on to four faster. And that means after that, that means I can get on to the faster I get through some of these games, the faster I can get onto the freaking best of them, the Final Fantasy PlayStation era, and 10. <laughs> 7, 9, 10, and 10 2 are definitely by far my favorite games. My favorite games of all of them are. are... Right now, it's 9. 9 has reestablished itself as my favorite, only because 9 was originally my favorite, but it, as it, having, having played it not too long ago recently, 9, 9 is really good. Uh, 10, having played that too recently, 10 is still very good, but I think 9 finally actually out, outputted 10 in terms of my favorite game. Because at the time, 10 was the only game i beaten. So now, I've beaten 10 and 10 too. And almost 7, and almost 9. So I have some... Well, I'm now I've also beaten King, King, Kingdom Hearts. Yes, Final Fantasy 1 and 2 now. So I've beaten four Final Fantasy games total, which is nice. That gives me 10 on PC. Yes, it is. 10 and 10 2 are on PC. <clears throat> yep. All of the Final Fantasy games that are on the Switch, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 2, 11, 14, and 12, as well as the 13 games are all on PC. And yes, 11 is also on PC. <laughs> Steam. Hell, even with the remakes, I think nearly every Final Fantasy game is on Steam. You got the remakes of the older games, and then you have 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 2, 11, 12, and 13's trilogy, as well as 14. Are you, do you want, are you getting, or do you plan to get that on PC, or do you plan on just playing the Switch version of 10, when you, whenever you decide to buy 10 and 10 2 for the Switch? I'd suggest you buying it on the Switch. I mean, you could buy it on PC, but I recommend just because it's handheld, the sake of a handheld. Playing RPGs in bed is better. 
far better. But if you prefer playing it on PC, far be it for me to help you get that. Should be around the same price. No. Depends, too. It also depends on sales. If there's a sale going on, you might find a Final Fantasy sale, but I think they're around the same price. I mean, it's two games, though. You're buying two games, keep in mind. But they're also older games, so it's not going to be the price of, say, buying both Pokemon games together, which is like 80 bucks. It's not going to be nowhere near that. It'll probably be almost. It'll probably be more than half that, in fact. But it also depends. There might be a sale on it. Like Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, both cost under $5 each. Both of them, in fact, when I bought them and bought them for you, I think they were like $3. It might not even be a sale. Yeah, that just might be because Left 4 Dead is old. Same with Borderlands 1 and 2. It was the reason I got you as many games as I did. Like, yeah, I bought you... Uh, uh, Remnant from the Ashes, but a lot of the games I got you were actually cheap as shit. And also, don't forget, once you actually have the computer and the sharing feature is on, you can play my games. It's just, if me and you decide to play the same game and you don't realize that I'm trying to play the said same game, you, you'll get, you'll kick me out of it, or vice versa. But you have access to my stuff. Library. Find it. Final Fab Tassy. Fantasy. Not what I was hoping for, but oh, oh I was searching the library, or searching my library, not the store. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Oh, I also forget uh, 15 is a thing, too. I forget. All right, let me read these off to you. Final Fantasy 14 online, 20 bucks. Final Fantasy 15 Windows Edition. $17. It's on sale, a lot of these. Oh my god, a lot of these are on sale, dude. So let's see. The original price for Final Fantasy XV is $35. Now it's down to $17. Final Fantasy XV Shadowbringers? Is that a DLC? That's $20. Final Fantasy... Oh. Oh, $12. Okay. Final Fantasy XII is Zodiac Age. $24 versus $50. Final Fantasy X and X-2 Remaster. 15 bucks for two games. Dude. 10 and 10 2 PC is $15. That's on sale right now. It's originally 30 That's still fantastic. Final Fantasy... Oh. 11 Ultimate Collection Seekers Edition. $30 for 11 Final Fantasy 15. God damn it. Stop with the 15s, please. Final Fantasy Nine, twelve dollars. Another thing for fifteen. Yay. <laughs> Final Fantasy Seven. <sighs> you ready for this? You ready for the price of probably the overhypedest fantasy Final Fantasy game to date? Final Fantasy Seven is six bucks. It is the cheapest Final Fantasy. Its full price is $11. The biggest and most overhyped game is the cheapest game. <laughs> Go figure. And also, yes, fun fun thing, the reason for this, I think, is because Final Fantasy VII is the only game that hasn't had an HD re-release. 7, 9, or no, wait, 8, 9, 10, 10, 2, and 12 all have had upgrades, visual upgrades, enhancements, to into a remaster. 7 is the only game that doesn't have a remaster, which is probably explains its pricing for this game. Because if you buy Steam, if you buy 7, if you buy 8 and 9 and 10 and 10 2, you're getting the remastered version. So here's Final Fantasy 8 remastered for $13. World of Final Fantasy is $12. 13 is 
even 13 is a higher price point than 7. 13 costs $8. Lightning Returns is $10. And now we're getting into the remakes. So 6, $7. Uh, three or four Final Fantasy is that IV is that four seven dollars thirteen two ten dollars Final Fantasy nine wait nine again oh wait no that's not nine Wait, that should be. It says via. What? I'm very confused. I'm bad with Roman numerals. Yeah, that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's. Oh, that's eight. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm getting confused by the numbering. No, that's eight. Oh, they actually have the original eight. On here for six dollars. Holy shit! <laughs> uh, let's see. Final Fantasy III's remake, eight dollars. Dissidia, the new Dissidia, the the one with the three-on-three -three combat. It's free to play. <laughs> I can literally. All right, fine. Come here, you. I'm downloading you. I am downloading the new Dissidia. I've had people actually ask me to play this, but it's free. I am taking it. I love Dissidia, but I'm not a big fan of the new one. I've heard. I've I've seen it, and I don't like the three-on-three -three combat. I preferred the single one-on-one -on -one combat that the original Dissidia's had. However, this is free. Yes, no, I agree with you. Both Dissidia 1 and Duo Decim is very good games. I haven't played the new one, but I hear that it's very good. I've had people like tell me, oh, you should get the new one. I was like, no, I'm not a big fan of the combat. And they're like, but it's better pvp and i'm like there you go <laughs> there you go you just turned me away from the game standard edition oh my following content 28 characters well there's dlc fuck off but yeah final fantasies are pretty cheap let's see okay final fantasy v Seven dollars. Mobius Final Fantasy, whatever the f that is, that's free. World of Final Fantasy Maxima Upgrade. I have that for the Switch. World of Final Fantasy is fantastic. You can buy the original and the new one. World of Final Fantasy Maxima Upgrade is eight bucks. Final Fantasy Type Zero HD, fifteen dollars. World of Final Fantasy the Complete Edition is twenty bucks. When does Fantasy Star 2 come out? Well, Fantasy Star 2 has been released back back in late 80s. So you're quite late on that front. I think you mean PSO2. Right? You don't mean Fantasy Star 2. You mean PSO2. Are you kidding me? Wait, 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 wait. Seven years after the role-playing games first hit Windows PC in Japan will be released in spring 2020 for PC and Xbox One. Uh, Sega's bringing Fantasy Star Online 2 to the West more than seven years after the role-playing game first hits. Released in spring 2020. Dude, that is soon. That is really soon, considering we're at the end of winter. We're nearing... Well, I mean, yes, we're in January. Technically, winter has just begun, but... Technically speaking, we are almost out of winter. I don't care if that groundhog fucking sees a shadow. Freaking spring 2020, baby. I don't know what I don't know if that means early spring or late spring. It just says spring 2020 is all it says. Sega initially released Fantasy Star Online 2 on PC in Japan and later ported the game to mobile platforms. Mobile platforms, and yet they mention the PS4. Listen to this: Sega initially released PSO2 in Japan on in PC on PC. Later, ported the game to mobile platforms: PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. 
I'm assuming they mean just the phone game. I don't, I'm, I'm assuming they don't mean that the PS4 and the Switch are mainly mobile platforms because PS4 is not mobile whatsoever. And there is a phone game, which there is a comma after mobile platforms, so I might just be reading like an idiot. Has never come stateside, unlike the Dreamcast predecessor. This game was de demoed at events like PAX in 2012, but it was... Yeah, well, there's a lot of reasoning. There's a lot of legality rights and a bunch of nonsense for them not releasing it. Now, how about the question that everyone's asking for? Since it's already on PS4, it's not going to be a big deal for them to port that easily to the English side of things. I don't know when the PS4 version's coming. I'm assuming it's going to be coming along with PC and Xbox, but that was originally... Because it, it was originally Microsoft, believe it or not, that did the, um, the PSO announcement. When I was watching Team Four Stars uh, E3 or whatever videos or whatever it was of all the different game events, Microsoft was the one that unveiled it. I mean, it is Windows. It makes sense. I don't care if things are behind. Like, they can literally release all this content and have seven or eight years worth of content and be behind. I, I care less. I want the damn game in English. I don't care if the Japanese version is nearly 100% English for the most part. I want it all English. Thanks very much. In a heartbeat, I would easily drop my file and delete it just to play this version. I don't care. It's not like I was that high of a level. I, I fell out of the game very, very quickly only because I just can't understand a lot of it. And it's a much more expansive MMO. It has a lot of shit that I hate. That I hate about MMOs. Oh, oh, you you asked, can we do Fantasy Star when it comes out? Sorry, I misread your question. <laughs> I literally thought you said, when does it come out? Why did I... I swear, my brain and eyes, when they see something, it literally... The words will literally be what my brain thinks it is. So when you said, can we do Fantasy Star 2 when it comes out, I literally read, when does it come out? Because my brain and eyes literally saw that. And now the words are changed. That's just how my brain works. If that makes sense to you. Yeah. <laughs> we need to get that mute off you, but I don't... <sighs> Pure is for poison. Sight is for map, because reasons. Toad, mini, wash. Blind. You're muted, though. Motherfucker. Of course. I mean, yeah, I don't have, uh... Whatever it is that cures everything. Asuna. Under Zer Zande's orders, I'm Medusa. Medusa! Well, hello. You haven't gotten your freaking ass kicked in Fantasy Star? Now you're joining into, into Final Fantasy? Kick your ass in Fantasy Star 1? I'll kick your ass here, Medusa! Destroy this tower and drop this continent out of the sky. Wait, it's a continent now? Hehehe, <laughs> you can't stop me, Panish! I love my voices. Okay, now we just entered Castlevania. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna go stretch real quick. Great, Castlevania, Medusa. Fuck you.
I'm back. I just wanted to stretch. Oh, I just wanted to stretch my legs. Yeah, speaking of uh, pulling all-nighters, not that it's all, not that I've been doing this for all night, but it, I've been going for five hours. But like, time flew already, and it's already <laughs> it's twelve and it's twelve a.m. right now. There's another example of me just getting lost into streaming. And trust me, I've done way worse. I've streamed for 12 hours before. 12, 13 hours. Those are like my good old Monster Hunter World days. Those are the days where I streamed Monster Hunter World religiously. Like back to back, daily, daily, like 12 hour streams on the daily. Like I freaking... While I didn't actually like beat anything crazy, I still haven't beaten like an any of the strongest forms of any of the Elder Dragons. I haven't dabbled much into the DLC. I was just switching into uh, the Switch Axe after the hammer started to fail me. Eh, the hammer didn't start failing me. It just made it hard for me to hit Valhazik's fucking mouth! Because I want his hammer! And I actually was able to obtain said pieces from that, but I had to switch to the switch axe or something that can actually hit his face better. While the hammer's good for facial hits, I'm not good at hitting certain faces on, especially him. So, like, in order for me to get part of his mouth fangs, I needed to actually break his face, which my switch axe did. Give me a sec, I need to get my cigarettes. Before Medusa falls, or I fall, one of the two falls today, some smoke. I need my favorite, my favorite snack of the day. Partially invisible cigarettes. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite meal of the day. Long sword. Hmm. Long sword, what? Your long sword's your favorite meal of the day. trash oh my god I expended all of your spells fucking lord what is this music doing it's like stuttering That was shit compared to what you did to me earlier, Medusa. I don't have any ethers. However, I can use a bomb shard. And we can have her do... Not the wind, sure. 31. Eh, that's not bad, I guess. In effect, I just threw a bomb at your ass. Excuse me? Yeah, I mean, they'll do worse damage physically. Don't break me, please. <sighs> no break. I don't like that glare is paralysis. I mean, I know that Pokemon glare is paralysis, but glare was always petrification, or at least in some regard of using eyesight. In most cases. Not always. I know certain Final Fantasy games are going to change things around. Just like how some of the later ones took out stuff like Mini and all that shit, and... You know some of the mechan some of the mechanics of like using becoming a frog and you know those those are like not in the newer ones anyway they're not in ten ten two or uh, from what I can tell twelve or thirteen but I could be wrong I know it's in nine 
But it wasn't in 7. Oh, wait, yeah, it was. All those minis? Yes, yes, it was. But they took that out of 10 for some reason. Or never added it in 10. I'm not sure if mini and those statuses return in any of the subsequent games past them, but I know it goes all the way up to 9. Paralyzer. Don't break me! Don't freaking petrify me! No, don't run either. Yes! Aha! Get fucked, Medusa! And maybe if you did get laid, you probably wouldn't be such a stone-cold bitch! Oh, burn! <laughs> burn! I'm sorry, I'm getting into the mood. The flame is blowing violently. It could explode any time. Wait, it's dangerous. My memories come back. I'm the surviving ancient guardian of this tower. I was asleep for ages, but when something happened to the tower, I was awakened. And inside a Bahamut's freaking nest for reasons. I must have lost it from sleeping so long. This is bad, but we may have a chance. I've got to go in here and fix the reactor. Otherwise, the floating continent will lose its power and fall. I guess this is it, guys. Thanks for everything. I don't even know you, dude. Dash, you'll be killed. I don't like how this game gives me freaking party members that aren't even a party. This is my mission. Once I stop the eddy... I'm sorry, I can't tell if that's a translation error or what. Once I stop the... I don't know if that's a name of a specific thing. Which Final Fantasies do I have on STEM? Well, I have Friendlet. I have the... I have Final Fantasy Friendlist. Library. Claw. Thank y'all. Let's see. Uh, can we click my favorites? Yes, let's see. We I have seven, eight, nine. Well, I have seven and eight. Ten and ten, two. Uh, let's see. Let's see. No, there's more. Uh, let's see. Final Fantasy III's remake. Uh, hold up. I'm going to just add some of these Final Fantasies to my favorites list. It's easier for me to read it that way. And I'll go over them all. I have mo I have a good chunk. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, let's see. Final Fantasy 3. Uh, 4. Final Fantasy 4 After Years. 5. 6. 7. 8. 9. Well, I don't know if I have 9. I don't see it on here. I have 10 and 10, 2. 11, 13, 1, 13, 2. I'm missing 13, 3. Which, yes, I bought 13 on here because I don't own the physical copies of 13 any longer. I have 13, 1, I think. I don't have 13, 2 or 3. I know I had 13, 2 on Xbox, but I never got around to playing it. But I don't have them anymore. I think I have 13, 1, though, but I rebought them on PC anyway. Yeah, the only one I'm missing is 9. And possibly any of the older ones, if there's any others. I know there was a few uh, that I didn't buy. Like 9. Let's see, yeah, I didn't buy Final Fantasy 15. Uh, mm, I own 15, well, 14, sorry. I own 15 on PS4. Yeah, 9 I need to buy for $12. I might as well. I need World of Final Fantasy, but I have that on the Switch. I'm confused here. What? Why does it say Remastered of 8 is not in my inventory when I clearly, clearly have Final Fantasy 8 Remaster right here? I think. Did I buy the original?
Ah, oh, there's lightning returns for ten dollars. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For some reason, the remastered of eight is not in my inventory. Then did I buy the original? Because it has a picture of Squall in the front. It looks like I have not played fifteen. I have never played fifteen. So my playthrough of 15 will be blind, but I hear a lot of bad things about it. I hear that the combat's not very good and a, char a certain character by the name of Prompto. Once I stop the eddy in the strait, you go to the island of dwarves. Got it? That's where the power of fire should be. Once I'm down below, I'll warp you out of here. We'll see ya. This is it. Woo! <laughs> Dash. Press F to pay respects. Is it now? Your PS4 doesn't have the space? Okay, thank you, game. I was like, what are we doing? Can we get on with it? One of the first games I, one of the earlier games I bought, but I just haven't played it yet. I do love its, I do love its cover art. Yeah, I do love Final Fantasy XV's cover art. Now, I haven't done anything in the game. I haven't played it. I don't even know if it's installed. So. I have. I know the game has been updated. I know it's been DLCified or whatever DLCs that they don't or do do have. I don't. I have not dabbled in any of it. So yeah, 15 is going to be 100% blind. Again, the only games that are going to be 100% pure blind are the originals up to six. And if I don't decide to beat seven and nine, then the endings of seven and nine will be blind. So yes, there's that. Eight will be blind, 100%. Twelve, the rest of twelve, the whole game actually, I've only played like a good hour of twelve. Twelve will be blind. Thirteen, the rest of thirteen will be blind, because I probably don't remember half of what I'd done in thirteen back when I, what, when I was dating Heather, or however long ago that was, 2010, 11, fuck. And then 13, two will be blind, 13, three will be blind, 15 will be blind. So you, you have a slew of Final Fantasy games to enjoy. First game for me, the X got me. Handsome collection. Nice. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go and buy some of these other Final Fantasy Steam games because there's quite a bit. I should look into getting the remastered then. I guess I bought the original. Final Fantasy XV Windows Edition Mod Organizer? Can you... Why? Playable Demo. Dissidious. Uh, incredible. That's a Final Fantasy game? Excuse me. The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing? Did they make another game off Van Helsing? I know I played a PS2 Van Helsing off that movie. Final battle. Gotta go. Good luck on the grind. Yeah, I'm about to get off myself. Final... Wait, what?
final Braverly? Hmm. Uh, they're just adding in words now that have the word final or fantasy in them. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well. We're going to be getting off here shortly. Lay down. It's not bad at all. Back, you're poisoned. Where am I now after all that? Okay. I just want to make sure I'm going... Oops. I wish these inputs would work. I just want to make sure I'm going the right spot. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you guys are all enjoying Final Fantasy 3 as much as I am, but... Dwarves, and now we're gonna be going in my first dungeon. Well, first major dungeon. <sighs> you always, beginning of some of these games, you always go through like in immediate, immediary dungeons, and then uh, you eventually start cracking the actual like game dungeons. Level up. Flame cave. It's a wall of flow. Okay, well, there's our dungeon. <laughs> ah, back attack, fuck. Let's try out Zeus's ring. Motherfucker. Wow, someone hit. Good job, Zero. Good job, Zero. You did it.
I did. I bought the original. Huh. I didn't realize. That's okay. I don't know if you guys would prefer me to play. I want to play the originals of 7, 8, and 9. But I also want to play them on my PS4. Lally ho! Lally ho! Two horns of ice! The dwarves treasure! But a bad guy stole them! We can't forgive him! Gusco stole the dwarves treasure! The two horns he dove into the lake! A dwarf horn was stolen! Lally ho 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 ho! Two horns. Treasure. The two horns. He dove in. Wait. Stole the dwarves' treasure. The two horns. He dove into the lake. We put a spell around the remaining horn so no one can get near it. Ouch! An invisible wall. <laughs> a beautiful crystal tower used to stand on the north mountain, but now there's just a cave there. For. Far to the east, across the outer sea, is a village called Gisar. Yes. Now I don't have to look at Dash's face. I can turn around and look at the memory of what used to be. Come on, game. Like, just boot me out, like in two. Luck mallet? Well, first off, I need echo herbs. A few potions. And I'll take a few maiden's kiss as well. And we'll try a lucky mallet. Oh, I gotta sell. I got a bunch of shit to sell. Cool, cool, cool. All right. D dwarf, man, Jesus. Tonf shining serpent. All right, hold up. We have Salmon and Serpent. So I want to find out which one is actually better in terms of. So we got 43, 36. Okay, you're way better, Salamand. So we're going to. Oh, you have two Mithril swords now. Nice. So we're going to buy me another Salamond. Oh, I bought two. Whoops. That's okay. I'll give her burning. Just have variety, I guess.
Enhancements. I bought one for his head. I thought I bought that. Damn it! Stop, game! I'm trying to move my cursor, but you're not letting it. Okay, so where is... Damn it. Rock blocks... <laughs> God damn. Just like with Pokemon, why can't you just move it? Or walk around it? You just bring me to this? Okay, do we dive in? No way, only a frog. Oh, 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 oh. Underground lake. Oh, they look significantly better. Also creepier. Searching? Blech. They look even more like freaking the the mad cat mad cat's freaking little weird jester balls basically what they are. They're bouncy balls with a face. And it looks even more like them now in this game. Oh, that, that damage increase. Level up, baby. Do 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 soft Manticores Ah, uh, you're bringing me bad flashbacks of Fantasy Star and Final Fantasy II. Hell, I mean, he looks like straight up Sanctuary Guardian. That thing's a Manticore, by the way. This thing is literally a spitting image of him. He's got wings. He's got the lion body. He's got a scorpion tail. I think that's what a manticore is, right? It's a lion body, human face, bat wings, dragon wings, and scorpion tail. I mean, the 
The boss from Dark Souls doesn't really look anything like this, but he still has wings. He has the scorpion tail and the in the lion body and the, I guess, face. Human face, lion face, whatever. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yes. Still doing better than zero in terms of accuracy. God damn, you're bad. Well, I'm not changing them. Not changing them, though. I want to. He's a new class to me. This is basically it. I want two mages and two and two physical attackers. Ah! No. What is that damage, dude? Of course you can just never finish it off. You always have to go for one more round. God. Really want me to use Zeus's rage, huh? Is that like comparable to Rama? I mean, it's an item that does lightning damage, so it's it's basically just Rama and an item. Has <laughs> that damage though? Accuracy, dude. Something here is going to petrify the shit out of me. Merman and Boulder. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, goodbye then. Bye bye. All right. You have more health than that. Okay, not too bad. Jinx? <gasps> ah! 
Ah, stay back. I won't give you the horn. Die. <laughs> Okay, Goosko, why do you have a snake around your dirty parts, sir? Not why I'm questioning why he's nude in the begin to begin with. But why is he wearing a snake for coverage? That's my point. <laughs> Accuracy really needs to ramp up. My damage is phenomenal, though. Hype still doing more damage than zero at the moment. There we go. He just needs better weapons, but also better accuracy. Ineffective. Uh, I think that just means he's. I just think he's. Yep, yeah, he's a fire monster. Why did I try using fire on him? Man, I'm doing over 200 damage or so a hit. Come on, man. You should be close to death by this point. There we go! Mmm, wah! Gorgeous crit, Zero. Yes! Yes! Zero with the kill! Let's see. Skill up! Skill up! Dwarf horn! What are you doing hiding in this cave, though? I would... If I were you... Excuse me, why is there a line as an NPC? What the hell? This game bug? <laughs> is there supposed to be a line following me? What the hell is that? Ow. No! Oh, God damn it. Stop, man! Just fucking die! Lord Almighty. Just get out of here, please. God damn it!
right. La dejó, la dejó. Door phone was stolen. I'm just talking to them again because. I wanna make sure I have every, everything for them. I just want to make sure I have their dialogue. Oh, wait, I want to look at you guys. You guys have wizard.
just wanted to. He well, I'm healed, actually. Of course you guys can't just let me kill you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. And I knew that things were going to start petrifying me because of the stupid softs they're giving me. Oh, come on. I didn't mean to do that. Please.
can this bowl like literally stop clogging after one after like a few dra a few puffs like literally one bowl pack now is clogging it every time like it normally shouldn't clog this much but it's clogging after like one full bowl pack look at that it's still clogged Half the time my pipe ain't even clogged, it's the bowl! Game, please stop making me- oh, Jesus. Are you fucking serious? <sighs> I love that they just like evaporate. Is there like nothing over there? All right. Oops, I actually almost took more steps than I needed. Okay. Uh, stay back, I don't wanna die. Yeah. <laughs> That's essentially what he should be saying. I hate random spell ineffection ineffectiveness.
to health, please. Here, have a free potion. Lally ho, lally ho. Don't mind me and don't mind the line. Just, just don't mind the line. It, it, it'll be all right. Two horns of ice, the door of treasure. Put it back, high school. Thank you. You got our horns back. Please return them to our original place. Wait, I'll dissolve the magic. Now you can pass the. Now you can pass. Place the horn on the altar. Time for me to steal the horn. I've been following you in your shadows. Now I've got both horns. Fuck. Clever. Oh, well, Rip. You ignorant fools! This horn of ice will open the path to the crystal of fire. Now the power of fire will belong to me! That guy headed for the mountain to the north. Please bring back the two horns. To the cave to the north, he took bone. Can't believe it has gotten both of the horns. Terrible, terrible. I don't even know what that means. Sorry about that. The time it takes for that is really annoying. So he's gone to the north. Well, the only place he can be is the freaking fire cave that is literally up above here. Ah, that's where we'll pick up tomorrow. Maybe. I may do fan I may do Fantasy Star for the next couple days. I'm probably gonna switch between this and Fantasy Star until I get some of them beaten. So either join me tomorrow for this or Fantasy Star. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for, for joining these this long stream. But I'm trying to get back into it. I'm going to try to stream earlier. I was hoping to stream right when I get home. So, but uh, computer issues. I'm going to see about streaming tomorrow. Right when I get home. But I don't know. I don't know how tired I'll be. So if I don't stream tomorrow. Then it's probably because I didn't sleep well. But we'll see. Have a good one everybody. I will see you tomorrow.